Hello. Just a few words in English, please. Yeah. So, um, how do you understand Cameron's position and what he wants here? Well, I think it's better that he. Uh, how do you interpret Britain. what he'd like? Well, we are like minded in the view that we want the uh, overall spending levels to come down and uh, also a more modern budget. It's, it should more address the competitiveness problems that we see in Europe. And then all of us have net positions to uh, uh, watch over as well. And how close are you into his? Well, I, th I think it, we, we could see that we have nine net contributors that are uh, contributing quite much to the EU budget. I think it's uh, a value in itself if these nine countries could stick together and to bring down the uh, expenditure levels. And how, how close are you for the, for the nine to come together? Well, we are close in the view, overall view, but then all of us have net positions to, to watch over as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Um, how do you there have been proposed cuts to foreign aid and uh, you know, outdoor support. How does that go? How does that jive with Sweden's take on foreign aid and support to developing countries? Well, um, we think the overall uh, expenditure levels are too high. We think they should come down and we might need to be constructive on where we can make these reductions um, when you compare with the, uh, with the suggestion that is now on the table. I will, of course, make my point that Swedish, Sweden is one of the few uh, big net contributors to UN and to uh, development aid uh, when we look at all European countries. And then in terms of um, budget rebates, what's the Swedish position on new countries getting rebates? Or Well, I think everyone ha has the right to have a say. Uh, it's only five countries as of now that has a rebate. It means a lot to your net position. Um, we are already heavy net contributors, so we need our rebate to balance, to make it fair. And uh, one should remember that everyone that introduces a rebate is asking everyone else to finance it. They, therefore, I foresee long discussions regarding this. OK, okay. thank you very, very much. Okay. Thank you. We think still the levels are too high and that the um, uh, structure is not uh, as modern as it should be. I mean, we have huge competitiveness problems and too much of the resources are directed to, to what Europe was and not what Europe should become. How difficult do you think it will be to find a compromise between 27 member states, <laughs> including the United Kingdom, which have a rather strict point of Well, I'm not in a hurry. It will take a long time. Okay.